Alright guys, I'm here to show you how to do the Lake Isabella treasure map glitch. So what, first of all, what you're going to need is the Lake Isabella map itself and at least one other map to alternate to do this properly. You're also going to need a friend or an alt account and some dynamite. So you're going to open your Lake Isabella map until it spawns right here. This is the one you want. There is four total locations. One of the other ones does work. However, this is the one we use. Um, so again, here's the location of it. If it doesn't spawn, we usually stand about here, open and close, open the map. If it doesn't spawn right here, simple enough, right over check, go back to this location, open a different treasure map. Don't close the map because you'll lose it. Open a different one. And then go back to the Lake Isabella. Do that over and over again until you get the right spawn. Sometimes it happens first try. Sometimes, you know, it takes 10, 15 minutes if you're unlucky. It's totally luck as a draw. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you want to get into a posse with your friend here. This is just my alt account. So I open there, have them stand right up there. There's a little stand of uh, dead tree bush or tree or bush or whatever it is up there. Just stand up there in a, in a, in their catalog. You want to walk up to this chest, pull out some dynamite. I only have three apparently. Uh, and you want to stand close enough that, you know, the dynamite will kill you, but not far enough away. Or, but not too, too close that the, the prompt comes up. So when you cross this snow here, the prompt will come up. You don't want to do that. So you just yeet some, a friendship stick at the chest. Wait for it to kill you. Now, here's where what we do is a little bit different. And that's where it depends on the posse later. If you don't spawn next to the chest, immediately respawn. If your internet is fairly quick, you're going to spawn very quickly um you'll spawn right here or right there where my horse is now when you get back to the chest same spot where you respawn or killed yourself the first time you go ahead and you respawn once again now each time you respawn while you're standing in front of the chest it will stack a reward now notice i didn't spawn close so just immediately respawn again you're gonna spawn close to the chest here, run over, stand in front of it, don't cross that snow, respawn, again that's another reward that's stacked in the chest. You may be wondering, is it quicker to just run to the chest? No. This way you can get four, sometimes five respawns in front of the chest per minute, depending on your internet and respawn time. This way is so much faster because you running across you you you're lucky to get two three so i'm just gonna do it a couple more times now again don't spawn really close it is just far more lucrative to do it this way We found the ideal way to do this if you're doing it in pairs, um, probably about a half an hour each between partners. If you're doing it by yourself, I would go probably about an hour. Uh, we do ours in solo sessions, which are poker table lobbies. If y'all want to glitch on that, just let me, or a video on that glitch, just let me know. So if you do it longer than an hour uh the glitch will break the lobby and when you go to throw the dynamite at the chest the icon will not disappear on your mini map and that is how you know the glitch is not going to work so if you throw the dynamite again at the chest to start the glitch and the yellow emblem does not disappear off your map it did not work you need a different lobby So I'm just going to do this maybe one more time and then I will open a different map and collect the reward. So to finish the glitch and actually take your stacked rewards, what you want to do is 
walk up close to the chest, same spot you were respawning, again, not close enough that the prompt comes out, and you want to open a different, different treasure map. A lot of people have done this, they've gone in, they weren't thinking, they clicked X right away on the Isabella map, and you will still collect your reward, but you will lose your map. So, select a different map. You, I get you doing it this way, you will not lose the Isabella map, and you can do it again. So, once you open the different map, open up your chest, and collect your stacked rewards. So, it's really easy. All you need is an alt, the map, and a friend. It can be very time consuming to get the map because it does not have a high percentage of spawning. But there are ways that you can use MTU lobbies to force spawn uh, treasure maps. And if you want a video on that, either hop over to Hell Dorado's channel or I can do a tutorial on that one as well.